Hey everybody, it's Converse King back with another shoe review, and today's shoe is the ZX800 from Adidas. But, whoa! It's not the regular version, it's the Star Wars version, which came out in uh, late September. Obviously, it comes in this wicked awesome uh, Star Wars action figure packaging, and it has portraits of the other shoes that came out around the same period and obviously it has the size chart at the bottom because when you get it at the store it doesn't come in the giant box that they give you with it you just get this at the store and it's pretty much the coolest packaging for a shoe ever can't dispute it um, when you open it up on the inside you have a portrait of the guy who the shoe is actually based on. And this shoe is based on Boba Fett, the bounty hunter from Star Wars. And yes, the packaging is really cool, but we can't focus on that all day. So, on to the shoes. So, you got a lot of details on here on this ZX800. You have Boba Fett's tattoo. You have battle damage. You have more battle damage you have uh, age in these orange lines you have the three stripes of adidas done up like a visor on boba fett's helmet more battle damage here orange um there obviously and you got a portrait of the guy on the tongue like it was his driver's license or something. It says Adidas and Star Wars on the inside of the heel in case you didn't know why this exists. Very nice execution. Much better than I think Nike could do. And also this is a much better running shoe than Nike's own Air Max 90. It's very comfortable. I've only tried it on. I haven't worn it anywhere yet because you know it's kind of a collector's item but I am gonna wear it but it is a very interesting interesting shoe and I probably would never get rid of it even if I did wear it because you know it's just so cool I mean you even have these little leather bits and this this one says fat and the other one says boba and it's just a really interesting comfortable shoe to just try on. I'm sure when I wear them it'll feel uh, even better. Um, I don't remember what they cost but uh, I ordered these from France and um, I think it was like 140 euros. I don't know. I forget what that is in US dollars. I think it was like 125 but it's pretty inexpensive for a collaboration shoe. Uh, if you're interested, might be a little hard to find now because it was limited. But uh, like all the Adidas Star Wars shoes, but definitely an interesting shoe to um, own. Um, like I said, if you're interested, you could still look for it. Uh, that's basically all there is to say because I actually haven't worn the shoe yet. But. Um, this is Converse King. Obviously, the shoe review is over, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I think we know this fucking song.